So we're going to be able to pick up dinosaurs, like really big dinosaurs. Wait, a T-Rex or that one? I doubt it. We can try to pick them up, but I really doubt it. Oh Whoa. my goodness, he picks up a Brontosaurus? Okay, that's insane. <laughs> I can't put him down for some reason. Hello everybody and welcome back to our Ark Survival Evolved Primal Fear Guide. This is a walkthrough and tutorial for all things Primal Fear. My name is Rick Dangerous and I'm 35 years old. I have with me here... My name is Ellie and I'm 7 years old. And my name is Time and Time and I'm 5 years old. Yep, and we are back to teach you more things about Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, Primal Fear specifically. So where we left off last episode, um, I did a few things off camera, and uh, our, our main goal this episode was to tame a fabled uh, griffin. Um, and off camera, I sorted my inventory, and I did typical base maintenance type things. You know, I, I emptied out the, the um, I, I, I filled up the feeding troughs, I took compost out of the compost bins, um, cooked a lot of more charcoal and meat. I made a lot of gunpowder. I did craft 25 apex infused bullets, but I'm gonna uh, go ahead and craft some more on camera just so we have enough. The big thing I did was I tamed an apex griffin. And you guys saw me tame a fire griffin already. The apex griffin, even though it's a higher tier, it's actually easier to tame than the fire griffin because he's not spitting fire all over the place. You just lure him into a trap and we're going to be taming a uh, fabled griffin corn this episode, and that's going to be even harder than both the fire griffin and the apex griffin. So you didn't mitch, miss much. Uh, you'll see how I tame the, uh, the fabled griffin corn. And then the other big thing uh, that I did off camera was I started the uh, fabled egg farm by taming creatures that lay fabled eggs. Now, you might say, wow, I tamed a lot of ankylosauruses here. Well, I didn't. I actually only tamed two. And these are a very easy tame. Uh, I simply got, a, I tamed those actually before I had the apex griffin. So I did that with the fire griffin. And, and you just fly up in the air and um, you've seen me tame things before. You point your, your, your nose down, bring out your sniper rifle, and you just, you just shoot the Yankee rapid fire, you know, five or six times, low level. He goes down right away. And if, even if he doesn't go down right away, they're very slow. They, they run a little bit. It's just a very easy tame. Um, so I tamed two of those, and I started mating them. Um, so the, two of these are the original parents, and everybody else is just part of the same bloodline. Um, if we go here to show ancestors, uh, you can see here all of these are just babies. And they're actually, they still have low health and low food from um, growing up from baby to adult. So they're still eating through a ton of my berries. I noticed that while I was doing some uh, housekeeping here, that our feeding trough is just slowly ticking down. This was just at 5,000 just a few minutes ago. Uh, so I hope those guys get filled up on food soon and stop eating through all our berries. But what they're also doing, the most important thing, is they're laying eggs. And you can see here, we already have 14 fabled eggs. And we're going to need those to um, create the kibble for demonic and celestial uh, tames for the kibble. So, I think that might be everything we did off camera. Uh, so, oh, I also set up a trap for griffins, um, a bigger trap, and that's what I trapped the apex in, and we're going to try to trap the uh, fabled griffin corn in the trap. And I'll show you the trap uh, in a little bit. And I did lure a fabled griffin corn. Um, I found one in the canyon. He's kind of close to the trap. We might have to lure him a lot more. So before we get started on that, we're going to quickly um, craft some more bullets. Um, so we need advanced sniper bullets to make the primal rifle bullets, and then we turn those into apex infused uh, bullets. So let's go ahead and make some sniper bullets in the fabricator. So we just type in advanced sniper, and we need metal and gunpowder. So I'm going to go ahead and search for gunpowder using the S plus mod. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong there. The S Plus mod has been buggy and they've been patching it a lot lately. Um, so I'm not even sure if it's working correctly right now. So there's no gunpowder 
in the smithy. I thought I kicked off a bunch, but let me check. Oh, uh, okay. So I have some... I, w I was making um, spark powder in bulk, but I never actually kicked off the gunpowder. So let's go ahead and kick that off. And I, I think we do have plenty of bullets to go tame this griffin corn. Um, so we don't have to wait around here for the gunpowder. We'll just kick it off before we go, and that way when we get back, it's ready. That's going to be plenty of gunpowder. So I will drop off um, the ingredients in the fabricator for now. Um, oh, actually, there's 83 in here already. Let's check if we turn on the fabricator. We need some gasoline for that. Let's just grab two for now. Let's just see how many we can make. So if we turn this on, we type in sniper, and we'll say craft all. Oh, we can only make six. We just need more gunpowder. Let's go ahead and grab the gunpowder. I could have did this off camera, but I don't want to do everything off camera. So we'll just grab some stacks of gunpowder. This should be enough for now. Let's go ahead and drag that in. And we'll type in sniper again. Now we're crafting 17, so that should be plenty. And we actually get two bullets per craft, so we're actually getting, you know, 34 instead of 17. So this will be done in a second. Okay, we'll drag these over. Um, we are going to need gunpowder in the smithy now to turn these into primal bullets. So let's grab some more gunpowder out of these uh, pestles here. And we're going to drop the sniper bullets, some of the primal bullets we already had, and some of these toxic narcotics we already had. And now we're going to go type in primal bullet. And we're using the sniper bullets to make these now, so we're going to make 25. And we could make more, but we don't have enough gunpowder. But I'm not going to go back over there and, and wait around for more gunpowder. So we have the primal bullets. Now we're going to go to weapons, ammo, bullets, and we need apex infused toxic narcotics first. So let's type in apex infused, or here, let's go, let's just go back to the, to the main folder. And we're going to go to consumables, drugs, narcotics. We're going to craft 20 apex infused. Hey, come in here, Clarky. It's okay. Clarky's here to help us out. All right, so we crafted uh, some Apex Infused, and then we are going to go back to Weapons. And we're going to craft these bullets. Good deal. So we're going to drag those back over to our inventory, and now we have 54 bullets, so that's good. We have 54 Apex Infused, and we have some of the lower end bullets as well. So, just in case we die, let's, uh, let's leave some stuff back at base. I did want to craft uh, these two armor pieces. I have the blueprints. I, I took those out off camera, thinking those would be nice to actually craft. Um, so let's craft the boots. And let's type in blue here to find the other blueprint. We crafted the boots, and then the helmet we're missing. Do we have everything? Let's see if we can pull the resources from the smithy. What do we need here? Metal ingot is what we're missing. So let's quickly grab some ingot from here. Oh, we have a lot. Okay, put that in the smithy. All right, now if we type in blueprint, what are we missing? I don't, oh, it has to be crafted at this regular smithy. That's what's going on. So let's take this blueprint out, and let's not forget to grab our boots that we just crafted. Okay, let's put the helmet over at the regular smithy. We click on it, we pull the resources we need to craft it, and we say craft one. All right. So we just upgraded our helmet and our boots. I'm going to drag those on. Awesome. And then let's go over here to the bookshelf and we'll put the, the blueprints back on. 
And then I have a chest over here for weapons and armor. We'll put the other pieces in here. All right, so I think we are go ready to go give this a try. Let me just check my inventory one last time. We do have the fabled kibble that we're going to need. Um, I'm going to leave a lot of the other stuff here just in case we would die. We don't want to lose it all. So I'm going to leave the special kibble, elemental, all that. I'll leave the experience potions here. And before I forget, uh, Clementine and Ellie asked me if I could hide the buffoon nameless that's kind of scary looking. And I said, sure thing. And it was actually, I think, Ellie or Clementine had the idea, can't we put him in one of these cryopods? And that's a really good idea. I was going to build a box around him. I said that. Yeah, Clementine <coughs> said that. So I think the cryopod's a better idea. So let's go up to him and empty his inventory. <coughs> And let's go ahead and take the cryopod. And we're going to put him in a cryopod. And then we don't have to look at him anymore. And I believe it was last episode we tamed him. All right. So he's in a cryopod. And we're going to go throw him in a chest. All right. There we go. He's locked in a box. We don't have to worry about him anymore, right? All right, I did craft a couple more teleporters off camera as well. And I believe I put one at the canyon so we can teleport right there. So the nice thing about the Apex Griffin is he doesn't spit fire or have really many abilities. Um, so the Fire Griffin's actually better at killing things. But the Apex Griffin, I leveled up health and speed. So he's going to help us with taming things. Because this Fabled Unicorn is going to be pretty fast. And we don't want him to... Uh, you know, to outrun us and kill us. So I went ahead and drank, and I'm going to eat. And we're going to teleport to the canyon here and see if we can get this uh, this fabled griffin. All right. So I set up a teleporter at the canyon. All right. So where did we set the trap? We set the trap right up here. And I did find a uh, fabled griffin corn in the canyon, and I lured him close to the trap. He's not quite there, but I got him over towards a safe area so that we could actually do this tame on camera. So let's fly over this way and check out the, cra the trap. Okay, well, okay, so that's actually, I think that's the fabled right there. Yep, that's a fabled griffin corn. He's not quite max level, but he's a really high level. And our trap is right up here. Now, this trap is probably nothing you guys, our viewers, have ever seen. It looks like a complete mess. Um, but I, I made a little trap, and it was just... It, it was too risky um, getting the, the griffin in and then trying to go around and close the door. We had that issue with the fire griffin when we tamed the fire griffin. Um, so I really took my time and made a pretty complex trap. So I'm going to explain that real quick. So with this trap, we have a manual behemoth gateway. So we have to manu manually open and close this. And then we have stone pillars all over the place. And uh, we're going to lure the griffin corn um, right behind us into here. This door is going to remain open. We're going to hang a left. And then we're going to hang a right over here. And we have to hang another right and then a left to get out. You'll notice that this opening uh, right here that I'm looking between is slightly bigger, right here, is slightly bigger than all these other openings. It's just enough for the uh, bigger griffins to get out. And now this door is actually set to automatic. So you can see it automatically closes. So when we, we fly in here, and when we start to get up to here, that door kicks in and opens, okay? Like I said, we're going to hang a right and then hang a left. So the idea is I'm hoping that the griffin gets stuck here because when this door closes, he's going to get stuck. And then he's naturally going to try to follow us, but he can't. He's going to get hung up on those pillars over there, and that should give us plenty of time to close this door. We're going to give this a try. All right. Just checking my health, my stats, my vitals. Our griffin has full health. I think I do have a healing potion in our griffin. Yeah, I have one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give this a try. You ready, Clementine? Yeah. Are you ready, Clark? Mm -hmm. All right. 
Where is that griffin? Okay. Here we go, kiddos. <laughs> I can't wait. So we're just going to attack this griffin. And then make him follow him. And make him chase us. He's now he's pretty fast, so we're going to use K here to look behind us. I believe he's aggroed, even though he's not red. <laughs> Okay, he's not aggroed quite yet because he wasn't red. He is taming. Let's try again. I'm not sure why he's not aggroed right now. Maybe when you hit him, he doesn't have that time. I'm not sure. Let's uh, let's try this again. Hang on a sec. Now, he was just down there uh, fighting another enemy before we went back to base. Um, I wonder if I shoot him with the sniper. Hang on a sec. And we are recording, Clementine. Okay, I'm going to try to shoot him. Is he, is he aggroed? Okay, he's aggroed now. All right, this works. Wow, he is, he is just as fast as us. Okay. So we are going to bring him into here, around. We're going to hang a right, hang a left. Okay, is he he's stuck? No, no, no! Don't don't open! Don't open! Okay, he's stuck. Let's very carefully close this. Okay, that went really smoothly. All right, he hasn't even shot off his. Uh, oh, he's aggroed again. He hasn't even shot off his. Um, ability yet, which is interesting. Usually he would uh, set that off. Okay, let's check our surroundings real quick, because he's he's not going anywhere. Now that one door is set to automatic, so I need to make sure I don't get too close to that door. I actually, if you see I left the ceilings open on the trap just to save resources, I can probably actually shoot him from the griffin down through the ceiling. I might even be able to get some headshots in. So let's try this here He's not right he will probably again once I shoot him okay did that hit him it's hitting him okay now he's aggroed whoa well, it's not magic. I think that's his special ability but yeah since we trapped him this is going to actually be an easy team. I think we're just outside of the range of his uh, of his attack. I really don't want to waste too many bullets. I want to make sure I get some accurate hits. So that was really nice that I left those ceilings open. I hadn't even planned that. Okay. Is he down? He is down. Yeah, we're going to um, keep our tame in the trap as well. And we're going to make sure we tell him not to follow us or attack. Okay. We're stuck a little bit. Let's back up. Okay. Perfect. So we got a nice griffin corn here. That was easy. It was. Well, I think one of the reasons it was so easy is cause, because we took the time to set up the trap correctly. So that makes it makes it nice and easy. So let's give him a tame helper and tell him to eat that. And that should make him pop up right away. Yep. Okay, we're going to take him back to base to uh, name him. Let's, uh, let's see. Oh, I have a pickup relic. Wait, can you name him Griffy? Yeah, we can name him Griffy. Um, let's give him a pickup relic real quick and some meat and let's get him back to base uh, so we're gonna go ahead and activate the relic oh it is activated we're gonna pick him up he, looks small in the he does look really small so this trap is awesome I'm gonna leave this up here for the rest of the playthrough because we're gonna be able to trap flyers with this yeah. all right and we're gonna teleport back home <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's throw him down. Whoa, he started to fly when I threw him, and we kind of went with him. Okay, let's Maybe set him. he was healing. He was. So I think he's the same size as an apex, it looks like. But he's going to have special abilities. 
Um, so let's see here. Right off the bat, let's go ahead and give him some experience potions that we looted from before. And we'll also put a, uh, we'll put two uh, health potions in him and some more meat. Okay. I'm going to move these griffins out of the way for now. Oh, I keep forgetting to tell him to stop. Oh, he stopped. Yeah. Okay, we'll put these griffins over here. I thought that, that was a bad griffin with my neck. Okay. Put these griffins out of the way. Let me just... Uh, Okay, so we're going to grab him now that he's not following us all the time. Yeah. He runs fast, too. All right, we're going to give him some experience points from these potions. So we have a large, two mediums, and a small. And we're not max level yet. We're still level 99. We could actually eat these, but I'd rather give them to the, to the griffin. Okay, so let's go ahead and feed, so he's at level, he has one level to gain here right now, but we're going to feed him a small, and that gave him 20 levels. We'll feed, feed him a medium, that gave him 19 more. Another medium gave him 5. A large gave him 7 more, and the last large gave him 3. So this is a lot of levels. I think you can only level something up 77 times. So we, we leveled him quite a bit just by feeding him uh, potions. All right, so what do we want to, what, what stats do we want to give him? He already has 130k health. So let's go ahead and pop a bunch into health to get him up to a million. Okay, and then we're going to do a lot of melee damage. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do more than a million health or not. Let's see what I gave the other griffins. I gave him... The apex has almost 70,000, 40,000. Um, let's give him a little more than a million. 1.3 million, and then we'll do the rest melee. And then awesome. you feed him so he doesn't die. Yes. So he is fed, but we will give him a health potion right now. Good call, Clementine. So now he's going up to full health. All right. So this was a huge success. Um, we hid the buffoon nameless in the cryopod, and we tamed the griffin already. That went way faster than I thought. How fast does he go when he walks? So when he walks, he goes pretty fast. Yeah. And let's go ahead and go out here and fly. Whoa. Wow. I, we do have a lot of time left in this episode. Can we just so spray the magic out something? Yeah, let's go spray some magic. So his <laughs> left attack swipes. Let's go ahead and hit something with that. 15,000. Now, I think if we're doing the dive bomb attack and then swipe, I think it does a lot more. Yeah, 22. Um, right click. I don't know if he's trying to pick something up or if he's attacking. Oh, okay, so right click picks things up. So we picked up a dodo in Mom? one hand. Okay. I wonder what, how big of an animal we can actually pick up. We could pick up this guy. Okay, and that drops him. And then C is what Clementine mentioned. That must be the special kind. Wow, look at that. That was awesome. Wow. Wow. Right. Let's uh, pick something up and try to press C. See what that does. If we, I wonder if we can pick up an animal and then do the magic. But like a nice animal. Ooh, I wonder if he can pick up um, like big things like this Triceratops. Is he fabled? He is fabled. So he, oh, he can pick up a fabled. Wow. And then when you do the magic, it looks like he drops it. Wow, he does a lot of damage. He just killed the Fabled in two hits. Wow. So we're going to be able to pick up dinosaurs, like really big dinosaurs. Wait, a T-Rex or that one? I doubt it. We can try to pick them up, but I really doubt it. 
Oh yeah. my goodness, he picks up a Brontosaurus? Okay, that's insane. <laughs> I can't put him down for some reason. The magic let me put him down. This is awesome, Clementine. So we can just fly right into the middle of stuff and set off the, uh, the nuke. I'll call that the nuke. That is awesome. Wow, you're going to be able to heal T-Rex. Oh, yeah. But not like the a spirit T-Rex. Right. That would be Let's get these raptors. So does it only hit one? Or I wonder if it hits everything nearby. Let's let's go try to find like a bunch of dinosaurs near each other and see if we can hit them all together. Um, so like these two raptors. So if we hit C, oh yeah, it kills it kills them both. And then you just need to remember to harvest the corpse. So let's head back to base and get some kibble. That one is the slum bird. This is an awesome bird. Inhaling. He's fast too. Yeah, I've been here. We have the T Rex. I've been here. Oh. We have the Bronx. Yeah, I'm sure. Maybe we'll, <laughs> maybe we'll pick up a T Rex sometime. A bit too quick. To All right. Up. That is awesome. Okay. So let's check how many fabled eggs we have. Because we're, we're actually ready, even before taming the Griffin Corn, we're ready to proceed in the tiers of the Primal Fear mod. We have the eggs we need. We have 28 fabled eggs. That actually made us encumbered. I can't even walk. So what I'm going to have to do is split those in half and drop half of them. And I'll come back for those. The item collector might pick them back up. We'll see. So I'm going to put the fabled eggs in the smithy, come back, pick up this stack of eggs. Before he does. Before he does, yep. Okay, so let's check out our, our kibble abilities. So if we go to consumables and kibble, um, what we're on now is, you know, we're making, we're, we already made the, uh, the fabled kibble. We have a lot of that. We want to make celestial and we want to make demonic. So we're missing long grass and we're missing primal blood. Now, the long grass we're already making. I started the game with four citronol and two long grass, but off camera at some point, I, uh, Ellie, would you mind uh, shutting the bedroom door real quick? Oh, sure. Thanks. Ellie just came in to join us. She's gonna help us out. Uh, I switched the crop pot so that there's four long grass and two citronol, because we're pretty much done making citronol, and we do need a lot more long grass. So let's go and harvest that. Long grass is used in the high end, the high end uh, kibbles. So right there we got a hundred. So let's put that in our smithy. Thanks, Ellie. Oh, we tamed the griffin corn. Yeah. Yeah, it went like just as planned. It was very smooth. Um, okay, so if we go to consumables kibble, and if we hover over celestial and demonic. The only thing we are missing right now is primal blood. And this is where, this, this is our next big challenge. The only way to get primal blood is to kill a primal creature. Um, the fabled griffin corn is going to help with that, I think. Um, let's go see if we can find a primal creature and we'll try to kill it. That's a griffin corn. And it's magic and it's so fast. Yeah. Watch this, Ellie. Whee! <laughs> All right. And she's so we're going to go ahead and teleport to the canyon for now. Yep. So we're looking for primal creatures. Now they can't be primal tech because primal tech does not drop blood, only primal. Um, and primals are hard. They have like 30 million hit points, and I don't really know how hard they hit. Uh, so getting this first kill using a non-celestial and non-demonic um, is going to be tough. Now that's an origin raptor. That's much higher than primal. You can see he has 66 million health. And that one kills him? No. Uh, we're going to be lucky to kill a primal. Uh, let's go ahead and open our dino tracker and show wild dino dinos near us. There's a primal tech raptor, but that's not going to drop blood. 
and he's down there near the origin, so we don't want to go there. Uh, now, the primal creatures do tend to glow. The more I think about it, uh, the desert is a safer place to fight primals because there's less origins nearby. And there tends to be more of those elemental birds that drop feathers, and we might need more feathers eventually. Oh, there's a light. I hear that too. Let's go kill this bird quick because he's going to drop a lot of feathers. Is it this guy? Oh, I gotta close the dino tracker. Make it at the saw. It's not that. Yeah, we gotta find the saw. Whoa, it took all of that stuff? Oh yeah, it took everything out. When we looked up so, what the clown was and it showed us what the... It was sort of like a gorilla with a clown face. Yeah, I think that's what it is, yeah. So we just killed that uh, light elemental creature that dropped a lot of feathers that we need um yeah the the saw guy is some sort of buffoon enemy uh but he must have a long range of sound because we always hear him but we never see him okay there's a primal dire bear 19 million health that's actually what we need to kill um so we're going to go ahead and give that a try i don't know how hard he's going to hit but we need his blood now one thing we could do is get two primals to fight each other. Like, if we could find a primal raptor and lure Whoa. him. and Yeah, he just killed that in one hit. It's going to be interesting to see how hard he hits. All right, I think we will give it a try. Um, I'm going to go hit C here when we're near him and just see how much damage we do. Okay, so we definitely hit him. No, we didn't even hit him. I wonder if magic doesn't damage him? Or we're only doing 40,000 points, so maybe it's not even denting him? Yeah. Wow, so this is going to be tough. What's that? Uh, let me check. Just a diplodocus. Let's try the dive bomb attack and see how much that does. That only does 20,000. Okay, so did he hit? He might have hit us once. I'm not sure. Okay, but we have a lot of health. It's okay. We have we have a lot of health. So he's not gonna um he's not gonna completely kill us without us having time to fly away and heal. The only problem is I think I only have one health potion with us. Let me check. I have more experience potions. Yeah, we have one health potion with us. Um, hmm, so how are we going to kill him? How do you make your boy left left and then he... Oh, there's the chainsaw guy. What? Buffoon what? Giganta something. Can we go see him? Yeah, we can go tame him. Um, tame? Yeah, we can tame him. From the style. Well, we're going to have to go home and get the kibble. And I think we'll come back here and try to fight the dire bear too. I'm wondering actually if the fire griffin is going to be better at taming the, uh, or at, at killing, oh, is that another griffin just sitting there? Alpha griffin. The fire griffin might be easier at killing the ord or the primal because he can spit fire from far away. So, so let's try this out here. We're going to teleport home and we're going to switch to the fire griffin and we're going to bring more health potions and as then, well. And you're going to team that saw guy? We're going to try. I can't wait to see. Now, uh, this, wait, now this, creature has, this creature has this creature has um 1.3 million health. And our fire griffin only has... Let's see. He only has 410,000 health. So we're going, to be have, we're going to have to be very careful that we don't get hit too much by that primal creature. What's now, saw we're going to go tame the saw guy. Alright, so let me grab some special kibble. Uh, where are we at here? Okay, special kibble. So we need that for the saw guy. I don't we'll, like the we'll, saw guy's kibble. I know, sweetie. We're going to leave that here. And we need more health potions. So let's quickly go to consumables, potions, and health. And it looks like we can craft quite a bit. So we'll just craft, like, 
I don't know, I might have got 15 there. So we're going to come back with health potions and a fire griffin and also the uh, special kibble for the saw guy. We're going to reload our sniper so it has eight bullets in it. Okay. And then we're going to get away from our other dinos so we don't accidentally teleport them. And we're going to teleport back to the canyon. Okay. So I haven't decided yet what the best play here is, if we should tame the buffoon first or if we should try to kill the dire bear first. Uh, kids, do you remember where the dire bear was? I, I can't remember what direction he was. Um, I can't remember either, but whatever that was, it sounded So he, he was around the edge here somewhere. I feel like the chainsaw guy... Listen. Let's go this way. How about let's listen? Yeah, we'll listen for it too. I think it's over this way, maybe. I should have kept track. There he is, yep, so he was this way. So there's the chainsaw guy, and then the dire bear is up here. Um, let's go ahead and tame the chainsaw first. We want to make sure, like, I don't shoot him from here, and then he chases us and falls off that cliff. Because we'd like to tame him up here. So let's go over this way so he chases this way. And I'm guessing we're going to knock him out pretty quickly. He seems more, more low level than the stuff we've been taming lately. Um, so this might be a very easy tame. Yeah, I knocked him out pretty quickly. Um, okay, so we'll go uh, put some special kibble in him and throw him in a cryopod. But not, but don't let me see his face. Okay, well you can turn your head real quick while we do this, if you need to. We'll check out his face uh, back at base. Give him a tame helper so he comes up right away. Okay, let's, uh, let's figure out what's going on. It's the dire bear. It's fine. Dangerous, but okay. <laughs> That's I unfortunate. Saw. Yeah. Saw oh no, stay here, Bubby. Oh no, 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 no. How are we gonna save him? Uh, jeez. I'm gonna tell him to follow us. He was chasing the dire bear. Is he within range? We'll see. See if he's there. Does he not see it? Hang on. He's not. We might need to go back. We're gonna have to go back and get him. I just didn't want to be down in the yourself. I just didn't want to be down there in the canyon too long. Okay. Can you shut the uh, bedroom door please? <laughs> Let's go back to our last remote location. Okay, the buffoon was killed by the primal dire bear, so we actually lost, we lost the tame. Um, and now the dire bear is actually down there in the canyon, which is going to be tough. But uh, let's go ahead and heal our fire griffin. Let's well, I did not like his face anyways. Yeah. Okay, let's teleport back to the canyon up top where it's safer instead of back to our last known location. And this is arc for you guys, like to our viewers, you know, we tamed the unicorn very quickly and easily. Um, and it went almost too, too good to be true. And now we're having some setbacks with the dire bear, but that's okay. That's just the way arc is. We need to be careful down here that there's no origins that can one shot kill us. Um, so this dire bear, we also need to be careful that we don't accidentally fly into the water um, so that our uh, we don't accidentally fall off our mount. Killing the dire bear down here is kind of risky. Well, very risky. 
Now, I think we are damaging him from here. I see the spino. Can explode? I don't think so. He's not, um... Yeah, I really don't want to attack the dire bear while he's over water. Because I'm worried about accidentally running into the water. Let's check this. Yep, I heard it. We're okay. The dire bear is actually not chasing us right now. So as long as we have enough stamina, I think that's far away, kids. We're not doing much damage at all. Um, hmm. It would have been nice to fight him out of the canyon. Let's see here. I'm trying to think what our best play is. Do we just give up and look for another primal? I think that's going to be our best bet. There's just too much down here in the canyon. And we saw those explosions behind us. Let me, let me think a little bit more if it's going to be worth it. Yeah, I don't want to fight a primal um, over top of water down in a canyon. So we're going to go ahead and uh, look at that. He's just one shot killing everything. Now, if he would just stay there and not move. Because I think since he's not in range of us, he's not actually attacking us. So if he would just hang out here for a while, it would be an easy kill. It's just going to take a really, really long time because of his hit points. Um, but yeah, we're going to call it here. It's it's too risky. It's just uh, too risky. We don't want to we don't want to die and lose all the trank arrows we're holding, or the trank bullets. Yeah. So let's go ahead and teleport home. Okay, unfortunately we lost the uh, the team that we had, but like Clementine said, he's kind of scary looking anyway. Yeah. All right, well let's let's call it here. Um, we had a great episode, nonetheless. We got a we got a fabled griffin corn that does massive massive damage. We lose um, the saw guy. We we did lose the saw guy. Um, so let's check our eggs real quick. Um, and and the griffin we did get a lot of uh, loot from the uh, fabled griffin corn. So I'll make sure I empty him out uh, off camera, but we can look real quick just to see. We got quite a bit of stuff. Uh, yes, Ellie? Um, can you hatch a baby before we are mating? I turned mating off on those guys because they were mating so much that there was too many babies and they were too hard to feed. Look at that, they went through all our berries already. So I'm gonna have to deal with that off camera as well to see what's what's going on with the the, the eating of the berries. Um, we do have eating? some eggs. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. In the next episode, we are going to seek out a primal creature to kill and hopefully in a lot more safe area to, to kill it than that canyon. All right, bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye. bye.